I have a feeling this is gonna be a very short video. Hi everyone, my name is Phil and I am remaking Squid Game in Unity. This is part two of the series. You can watch part one on my channel. This is the second game, which is called the Honeycomb Challenge or the Dalgona Candy Challenge. This was much easier to make compared to Red Light Green Light. I decided to take the root Roblox approach, which is a move along the line type of game. It's a simple game, really. You get a cookie that has a shape in it. It is made of this like so very solid material that will crack at any blow, basically. And you have to get the, the shape out without getting any cracks on it. So I started by setting up the scene with all the proper visuals and colliders and then moved on to figuring out how I could detect mouse inputs in both the cookie and the cookie fractures. Each fracture is divided into multiple segments and the player needs to click them all in order to win the game. So after I got that sorted, I created a simple cookie manager script whose only job is to keep track of which segments have been clicked and which ones have not. Every time a segment is clicked, we let the manager know about this and it then proceeds to check if there are any segments left. If there are not, we win the game. With the main mechanic done, I moved on to smaller scale issues such as adding a timer on the corner of the screen. I went back and forth on refactoring the timer from the one I had previously made for red light green light um, and in this clip here I was just trying to decide if I should strip down the timer script into something more inheritance friendly since all the games are going to have some sort of timer so the end result is really the only thing that differs. So I ended up putting the timer in its own class and then spent a bit longer figuring out what each game's timer needs to do and recreating that for each of the timers. So there's one for red light green light now and one for the honeycomb challenge. Once I had that logic done, I jumped into the asset store to look for some cookie textures and ended up finding this package of cookies that can also break in a sort of fruit ninja way, which was pretty cool. So I modified the code a little bit so that the cookies didn't go flying off the screen and instead just get this little cracked effect, which I really like. Finally, I used Ableton to create some cookie breaking sound effects and just used some randomness to make the sound and visuals look different every time you do crack the cookie. Uh, so the cracks won't always be the same place and the crack sound is not always the same pitch or volume. I also tried to get some actual Dalgona candy texture but to no avail, so I moved on to adding the timer to the corner of the screen. I did this by using another camera that is constantly just looking at the timer on the wall and then render that camera's view into a render texture which is then displayed on the canvas through a raw image. To finish off the project, I made all of the other shapes that could be seen on the show, or at least I tried to. Bit hard to do with just tiny rectangles, but I don't think they turned out that bad. Finally, I decided to split all of these shapes into their own difficulty which the player can pick at the beginning of the game, obviously the triangle being the easiest one and the umbrella being the hardest. I made a simple menu with just four buttons that the player can click to choose each of the shapes. Um, then I popped into GIMP to create some icons to the best of my artistic abilities, which are not great, clearly, and then added them onto the menu that I had created in Unity, which resulted in this being the final product. And there you go, that was the honeycomb challenge or Dalgona candy challenge, I really hope I'm not butchering that name. There were several ways this could be done. I thought about doing it in a quick time event sort of way or even going a bit out of the box and making it so that you have to cheat without the guards catching you, making it more like a stealth game. So it wouldn't be so much about the challenge itself but how you can win it. Um, in the end, I was happy with the path I took. It was still fun, so that's all that matters to me. Um, next up is a tug of war game, which I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to do, but I guess I'll figure it out. So stay tuned so you don't miss that. See you all then. Bye.